Imagine a world where you have no voice, where you have no say on issues that affect you, where you have no access to information. Panos London supports poor people to make their voices heard. This is Manchar Lake in Pakistan. A drainage project has caused widespread pollution here, destroying the livelihoods and health of local fishing families. Panos London worked with these families, recording their experiences. Three of our women died due to the poisonous waters. There is only misery for us. We have no livelihood. We now survive by begging. With our support, Basran and other residents organized a people's assembly where they spoke out and invited the media to listen. TV news coverage of the assembly forced the regional government to hear their demands for justice. Media coverage like this is essential to development. Panos London encourages journalists to report on issues of poverty and injustice, offering editorial support and mentoring. And we take journalists to international summits like the G8. One of them was Intle Mapamulo from South Africa. The summit gave me so much experience to take home. I now realize that I have a duty to interpret what happens behind closed doors of big decision makers for the benefit of the greater majority of people. In South Africa, we gave Tintley editorial support to report on the terrible shortage of HIV services in the town of Mazista. Her article captured the attention of the local health authorities. Soon after, they invited her back. A mobile health clinic was now visiting twice a week. More drugs had been made available and better support was on offer to people living with HIV. Like HIV, climate change is badly affecting the developing world. But there's little accurate information about its impact in the media. Panos, along with its partners Internews and IIED, have supported over 100 journalists from developing countries to improve their reporting on climate change. Certainly for me, there have been a lot, of, a lot of stories to really send back to Jamaica to help bring people up to speed on some of the issues to do with climate change and then as well some of the politics that has been involved in slowing the process. As a result of her fellowship and support from Panos London, Petre Williams published the newspaper's first ever climate change supplement. It offered clear, accessible information for people who are already being affected by climate change. A place where climate change is already causing problems is the remote Focap region of Madagascar. But people there have had little opportunity to explain the problems for themselves. Panos London worked with members of the community to make their own videos. The films show them struggling to adapt to the challenges of drought, harsh winds and encroaching sand dunes. The camera is something that my ancestors never touched. Now we, their grandchildren, are learning. And so it's going to be a lesson for the small ones and for our children's children. These films were shared with the community and were later screened around the world. The videos persuaded local politicians to help the residents of FOCAP apply for government grants to stabilise the dunes. The community is now putting their plans for the future into action. Panos London makes sure the voices of poor people are heard. Get involved today. We'll show you the difference you can make to the lives of poor and marginalised people all over the world. Visit our website to support Panos London. www.panos.org.uk forward slash support us.